What's up everyone? We're out here uh, at the Goodwill and uh, I'm just sitting in the parking lot. It's, uh, I don't even know what time it is. I think they just opened. They just opened up at eight o'clock. I think it's like eight, eight thirty. 30. Um, anyways, I just got through donating. I was gonna start this video a minute ago. Uh, I just got through donating like a whole bunch of, uh, I got a bunch of cards from my from my mom's house that I've had at our garage sale for years and they're just like common cards and stuff like that and uh if you guys watch my videos you know that I do a lot of uh sports card you know sports collectible stuff and uh anyways we're out here at the Goodwill we're gonna go inside and uh see what we can find so uh I'm not gonna take this in I'm not gonna take the camera inside uh, of course, it's of course it's my phone, but uh, I'm not gonna take it. Not gonna go inside with it. Uh, it's really quiet in there. And I don't feel like dealing with all the questions and stuff around here with the locals. But uh, I'll turn I'll turn the camera around. You can see the Goodwill, the Goodwill shop up there. And I'm walking in right. I'm walking in right now. We'll see what we can find, and uh, I'll come back out and we'll restart this video. Let's get it. All right, as you can tell, it's uh, super windy out here, but I spent, uh, since this was my first, my first go around at the, uh, doing this Goodwill uh, thrifting. I, I, I've known how to do it for a while, and uh, now that I'm in my car, you can probably hear me a little bit better. Um, I've known how to do it for a while, but uh, I've just never, just never tried it, and, uh, Anyways, I'm, I'm in my car right now, and uh, yeah, I, I'll, uh, I, all right, let me see if I can flip this over here. So we got some really uh, nice mega scores here. Um, I, got, I got a big bag of stuff. I'm going to go through it all. Um, so it's pretty much all t-shirts, actually. Um, it's, it's actually all t-shirts, uh, and it's going to go in my, in my eBay store. They're going to be up for resale and um i will uh i will post that stuff up and uh there's the store here my local my local one there's actually uh three around here so this is the only one that i'm gonna do for for right now um and uh anyways we'll look for more videos in the future and i'll uh, like i said whenever i get home i'll lay it out and we'll go through and check them all out together all right all right what's up everyone welcome back um i did all of my uh all of my goodwill shopping all of my uh rifting through the uh rifting through the shirts and everything and uh yeah basically this is what this is what i found um or all the clothes i guess i should say um it was my my first time doing this i've uh, i've done my homework and i have uh let me adjust the camera here real quick and I've done I've done my homework a little bit and uh, basically looked up stuff. So the first thing that we've got, I'm gonna have to see if it actually works or how we can fix it. But uh, we've got this cool find here. Can you guys guess what that is? Oh yeah, it is a Star Wars Millennium Falcon toy. Uh, battery operated I think it is the memory toy because it's got a whole bunch of buttons right here um, but I had to pick this up it was only two dollars um, and it's got the copyright of 1997 on it so I was like holy moly there was actually a Darth Vader mask that I found um, also but that one was from 2011 and the comps for that one weren't um, as good as a flip so I left that there um, but anyways, this this toy is in pretty good condition. Um, you can see the size of my hand here, and compare. But uh, anyways, so it's it's not too too big. But anyways, I still got to see if it works. So I've got it in the on position. Maybe the batteries are bad, but it was only two dollars, so I figured it was a no brainer find on that. Okay, now on to the clothes. Um, so I actually there's three local Goodwill stores around here. One of them is like a super center store. <clears throat> that's like really big <clears throat> there's there's two other ones that are basically smaller branches um 
those two really didn't have hardly anything i was able to find like two or three items clothing only all this is pretty much just clothes and uh i was able to find two or three uh, pieces of clothing at each of the each of the smaller branches now the bigger one i have a bigger bag full of clothes there on that um now the third location that i went to um i was i actually uh my my wife came with me to that um and of course all all of these clothes in this bag are pretty much hers except for the three things that i was able to find now of course whenever i brought her along i was going there for business purposes she was going there for fashion so she was like oh babe look at all this cute stuff you know blah 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 and so i was like holy crap so we ended up spending like almost fifty dollars and if i would have just went by myself it would have been only like 15 or something like that but anyways what can you do that's the price of being married that's what you got to pay for so anyways let's get on to these cool stuff that we find all this stuff is going to be for sale it's going to go on my ebay store if you need to look for my ebay store linked i will post it uh, let's say down in the description it's going to be down below um and i also have it if you go to my my uh main channel it's going to be up in my header logo it's going to be on the bottom right corner along with my other links uh so anyways here we go this is a pair of shorts um i forget the size but this is a pair of hurley uh phantom shorts you can see the the brand there hurley the the phantom logo on the back there um these are some nice board shorts now these were only uh, this was from the smaller branch, so they didn't actually have, uh, I don't guess, prices for some of these things. And I haven't checked any of the pockets. Now, I guess every time, of course, everyone would know, if every time you go to Goodwill, if you've got pockets in something, go ahead and check them, because you never know. A lot of the times, they're going to go through those clothes so fast that you may find some money stuffed in some of those clothes, you know? Um, but anyways, these are some nice board shorts. Uh, they're in really good shape. Um, they knew that they would sell fast somebody at the Goodwill because they put them right up at the front So obviously they wanted to try to sell these pretty quick. But anyways, this is always a good find uh, Hurley Phantom, um, I think these were like maybe less than five bucks the comps for these I Looked up is probably between like 40 and 60 dollars on the resale end So anyways, I'm just trying to I'm just trying something new as far as business stuff goes and this is a uh, like one of like two or three pair of shorts that I got on to the next item here we have here a jersey now you're gonna see a lot of jerseys in this in this episode now you've got to know what to look for most people don't know to look for stuff like this but I was literally on eBay the whole time that I was at the Goodwill store like my app was open and I was just typing in everything that I thought was good to try to compare prices you literally have to go through if you want to know how to do this it's basically the easiest way is you go in sift through if something catches your eye that's different because right now in fashion you're going to look at stuff that's like poppy that's different people are trying to be flashy um, of course you also have the vintage stuff too so you have to know you have to look at quality and things like that um, and what i do is i literally just went in and this jersey right here, normally I have no clue what this jersey is. Like, obviously it looks something soccer related. So I just typed in uh, Puma, because there's a Puma tag right there. I typed in Puma. Um, and then I typed in this word right here. I think this is Cami, Cami Ron. And you can also type in like something like this. You type in lettering or words from like tags that are associated with the brand. Um, but if you type in Puma Camiron on eBay, there are some comparable sales. And I thought that this comp was decent enough that I wanted to go ahead and pick this up. Now, not all of these clothes are going to be, uh, you can do women's too. But for me, I just looked through all of the guy stuff. I don't know enough about women's clothes to know what the brands are to look for. So I just stuck with only pretty much guy clothing. Uh, yeah, because, you know, for the reason like that's being said. So, um, anyways, I, those are all different sizes. 
and anyways that's one of the jerseys right here this pair of shorts don't know why but these are some like shorty short booty shorts okay these are actually dudes these are in the dude section um, I think they are a size small or like a size 30 32 now I think these would actually fit me um, yeah these are yeah these would actually fit me like I could rock these right now I'm not gonna angle the camera down but what got me on them is the the material I could definitely tell was vintage and it looks like it has the buttons on it but then you've got to look at the patch logo too like that that type of patch is a super old school patch and it says Laguna on it so I looked up all you got to do whenever you find something like that you're like what the heck is Laguna like you just look up like you've never heard of that brand like I've never heard of that brand either but I typed it in there was someone else trying to sell them uh, for like about 25 and I think I got it for less than five now well there was some other comparable sales that were kind of close to these shorts that were uh, I think around 15 or something like that so I just went with them because they're from probably the like early 90s or 80s um, so I just I just went with that one and just tried to go in now I did look up recently on uh, on Google and things like that like different high-end because I didn't know anything about like I have some dress shirts that I personally own but I didn't know anything about like maybe stuff to look for um, in goodwill because they have rows of like button-up shirts now a lot of this stuff that i'm getting here is like sports related and things like that stuff that i like know because i deal with uh, card collectibles and stuff so um anyways that yeah that that was a main reason why i picked up everything that i picked up because it's card related or sports related i mean and i already do like sports collectible stuff so i figured it was a no-brainer and i kind of knew like what the market was doing but as far as fashion and fancy dress goes for guys I wasn't too sure so I didn't really look through a lot of the suits or the button-up shirts or anything like that so next time I go I'm probably going to uh, branch out and be looking for things like that because you can you know there's no telling what you could find and it could be a really expensive button-up shirt so um, anyways we've got another shirt here the design, the pattern is really cool, um, and I, if you can guess the brand, that's great, but this is a Pro Combat Nike shirt, so I don't know uh, what it was designed for. It was designed for fighting or for army of some sorts, but it's a dry fit uh, Nike Pro Combat shirt. Yeah, it's for championship ath uh, athletes or athletics, so... Um, I'm trying to just look to see what it would be compared to, but it's got all the right markings. I know that it's authentic Nike. You can tell by the material. It's a dry fit logo. Um, it's compression and everything, so it's going to be tight fit. So it's basically just for training, I guess, but I got a Nike Comp Pro Combat shirt. Uh, I think the comps for this were like 20 to 30, so it was a no-brainer uh, purchase on that. Everything that I was finding that I was looking for was was such an easy This is such an easy thing to do So if you've never done this before and you have an eBay account and you're wanting to try to do the entrepreneur thing like me like myself then I would definitely recommend going out and, and giving this a shot because To me it was so much fun like I want to go do it right now but I know that my wife would kill, would kill me for one because I already have this inventory that I need to focus on and see if it's even going to be profitable or see how much time it's going to take to sell it. So that's what I'm going to focus my time on uh, today specifically uh, is trying to take, take these pictures, take these photos of these items and see exactly how this is going to work. Because like I said, this is my first time doing this, but I know like what I'm talking about whenever I say that most of the stuff is profitable because uh, standard price is $2.50 um, at Goodwill for a t-shirt and if you get a good enough brand you know you can sell it for $10 and already you're in the profit but to me that that margin is not that great so um, I'd like to get them whenever you can buy two fifty and sell them for uh, 25 or 30 something like that you know so um, 
anyways these next couple these next two shirts I actually didn't have any comparable pricing to go towards them but I felt like I needed to get them because of the brand of the shirt so I, you can already tell by the logo and by the Jumpman logo of what this brand is now I like I said I didn't have any comparable prices for these shirts but I could tell since the logo was kind of faded and it was an Air Jordan 1 shoe that it had to it's got to be from a vintage it's got to be a vintage 90s uh, shirt is what I'm hoping now if it's a vintage 90s shirt I would guess it would probably go for maybe 20 to 30 um, but I would take you know I would go around 15 for it um, I'm gonna list all these clothing uh, uh, I'm gonna list all the clothing at auctions so anyways this is a really nice another one here Air Jordan 1 with the uh, <clears throat> with the wings coming out of the shoe there all right next one here this is a uh, a large but I think it's a youth large now it was in the men's section but this is another sweet sweet find here of Air Jordan it just says straight up Air Jordan on the front with the Jumpman logo on it and then it's got the Jumpman tag now everything looks correct to me the Jumpman logo on the tag doesn't look to be altered or and it, it doesn't look to be uh, in a different type. So they look to be authentic to me. I'll give you one more look at it here. There's nothing on the back of the shirt. It's just straight up Air Jordan and then the Air Jordan logo. And then this is what it looks like on me. It, it's kind of short. So to me, I guess it could be a men's large, but I I'm going to probably post it as a youth large because it's a little bit shorter of a shirt. <clears throat> now that's the first one there and this is you can see it is straight up from Goodwill because I've got the Goodwill bag here um, so that is just that's one bag that's probably about uh, what I paid for everything that's probably about $30 worth of stuff that I've showed you that I actually paid um, I should be able to get double that <clears throat> I should be able to get at least double in my price on that stuff all the rest of the stuff here this is all gonna be like super sweet stuff. The first, the first store that I went to, uh, which was that Super Center store, they had like the best stuff. So I got all the rest of the stuff. You saw if you thought that the first stuff was good or you had no clue what any of it was and it just went over your head, then the rest of the stuff is gonna be no brainers. Whenever you see this stuff right here, so I got here a sweet Adidas Dallas Mavericks. Uh, Dirk Nowinski jersey um, it's got the NBA logo and everything NBA authentic but it's a youth size medium so there had two different sizes there and which you're probably not even gonna think to look in the youth size I honestly didn't either I almost was already done almost walked out of the store and then I looked over and I was like oh wait they've got youth jerseys over there and people pay to keep their kids looking fresh so they, they, you know, whenever you take your kids to your first Mavericks game, you're going to want to have this, you know, at least a jersey or something like this. It's respectable. The logo, man, looks good to me. It looks to be an authentic jersey. Um, I looked up the comps for it. You're looking maybe $25. Um, there's a $4 price on here. So, um, but anyways, this one is, like I said, just a youth medium. They had a... Uh, this one is the Adidas brand. Now they had another brand. I want to say that it was uh, not Adidas, but uh, anyways, they had a different brand. And then there's the size medium logo for the Adidas. <clears throat> they had another exact same jersey like this, but it was made by a different brand, and uh, it wasn't as actually as. It, the flip for it wasn't as much margin as this one was so I just stuck with this one instead of getting both all right this next one here this next one is non sports related but man I had to get this one this is a vintage polo which is a super huge size shirt I think this is a this is actually only a large I figured this was a like an XL or something this is just your standard let me see if I can adjust this down. I'm gonna adjust it down just a hair. This is a huge shirt and this is a large. This is a massive shirt. So this is a Planet, uh, no, not Planet, is it Planet Hollywood? Yeah, 
This is a Planet Hollywood um, Atlantic City uh, polo shirt. But whenever I saw it, I got intrigued by the thing. So it's from 1991. So early 90s stuff. So this is one of my nice other vintage clothing pickup. So made specifically for Planet Hollywood 1991. Made in the USA. It's straight up cotton. Super nice. 1991. All right, here we go. We've got this weird looking shirt right here. Like, I would not even think that someone would rock this shirt, but this is Texas Rangers. Uh, it's like a, I don't know, it's jersey material. Like, you can see it's like that mesh material stuff. Uh, but it's it doesn't have any numbers on the back or anything. It's It's got the Rangers logo there. Um... But what got me though is it's a the logo seven, logo seven brand, um, and it looks like it's made in USA, Indianapolis. So, and I got to looking on it. I almost actually left this one on there, but it's got the MLB logo and it says 1996, right next to the MLB logo. And you can probably see it, but yeah, it says 1996 right there next to the logo, next to the MLB logo seven copyright. Um, anyways, so this was another sweet pickup. I don't know that that is something I didn't have any comps for, but I just had to think to myself of, I looked up other logo seven Rangers shirts and I was just trying to think on, you know, what it would compare to. So, um, all right, I'm going to save, let's see, I'm going to go this one here. All right, this one here we've got with still with the tags, by the way, still with the tags. So anytime you can find something that's still got the tags on it, go ahead and type it in on Google or preferably on the site that you're going to use for resale, whether that's Amazon or eBay, because it's always going to help. They're going to, some, the customer buying it, looking at it is going to be like, wow, it's, you know, it's brand new. It's still got a tag. So that's a no brainer. Um, all right. So this one here, I had again, no clue what this shirt was, but look at the quality, how white this shirt is. I had no clue what this was, so all I did was type in sky, and then I would I typed in, I think I typed in sky, and then I typed in this word right here. So I typed that in and looked up, and it's basically a jersey for cycling. So whenever they go like the riding marathons for bicycle bicycling, um, yeah, basically riding the marathons, they wear these specific skin tight jerseys and I don't even remember what the comps were but it's it's really good condition still with the tags on it I picked it up for five bucks um, I think the resale on it was for 30 so that again was a no-brainer um, it looks like I've got oh wow I've still got a lot more to show here so this one here um, is a Rebel Mines Rebel Mines brand large now all I did was type in Rebel Mines and then I typed in the word savage on the front because this is a nice clean you know this is going to go to some dude that's going to run a roll up in the club that's going to want to make a statement you know i would imagine but anyways this comp right here is probably 30 bucks another another 30 bucks shirt it says warning warning living fresh on it so if you're wanting to go somewhere you want to make a statement you want to stand out you're going to want to some, wear something like that i would imagine something like that all right all right, we've got another soccer shirt. I forgot about this one too. These are gonna be, these are gonna be nice, quick sales right here. Um, all right, we've got we've got the Nike logo right on the back. Nike swoosh. Um, we've got on the front it says Nike FCB on it. And then whenever I typed it in, I typed in Barcelona. I think is what it says. FCB Barcelona on the side. So in the town that I live in. You know there are, I don't know. There's a, there's a a good number of Hispanic people I guess that live here, and so obviously, you know, I would assume that they were are going to try to play soccer, and there are so a lot of soccer games that go on. I'm probably going to have my daughter in it uh, here in the next couple years. So, anyways, they I found a bunch of these along with that other one that I showed you from earlier that was also soccer related. So this one is going to be nice. I don't remember the comps for this one. All right, the next couple 
you're gonna be like holy moly probably this one i was actually disappointed in the jersey and everything is really nice um the comps for it because the player has switched teams are not as great but i was i was still really really excited for this one because the player has switched teams though it is a nba indiana pacers jersey of paul george made by adidas a 2xl paul george number 13 super nice this thing is huge this is like a flag this thing is big but it, the jersey is in really great condition. I almost left the jersey because I only got I only paid six dollars for it. So this is probably like a fifty dollar jersey, you know, from the store if you were to buy it from a big like academy or something like that. The logo man looks good. The logo man looks legit to me. And then it also has the the two XL size tag here in the corner. Um. Anyway, so that one was. This one was a no-brainer. I almost had to get it. This was my first official uh, jersey or NBA jersey uh, that I have that I have came across. So um, stay on the lookout for everything else. It's a 2XL size. I think the comps for that were maybe twenty dollars because he's switched because he's switched uh, teams or whatever. So if I could have if I would have found one that was in OKC, um, which I, I'm pretty sure that's where he plays now then that one would have been really good. Now this one here is actually a youth jersey, but it's Derek Carr for the Oakland Raiders. Um, and it's got the NFL patch logo large there. It's actually another youth jersey. It was in the men's size. Um, and I think I paid uh, $4 for this one, but it's got the team, uh, the team youth there on the back. This comp right here was actually surprisingly the most. Um, that, I, that I was able to find in for sales and everything. This was around $50 for this jersey. Um, I think I paid, like I said, $4. So the player still still plays for the team. It's going to help for the resale. If you switch teams, obviously, I guess it's going to go down a little bit. Um, but anyways, that is everything. So I don't want to do a quick, I don't want to do a recap. I'm just going to hopefully hope that you saw everything that I did because the video is the videos already at like 20 minutes, over 20 minutes right now the footage that I've got just on this clip. So um, anyways, I hope that uh, you learned some stuff. If you want uh, to comment on um, anything that I found or uh, what to look for, um, I always try to reply back um, as soon as I can. If you do it in the middle of the night, I'll reply first thing in the morning when I wake up. So that's the best as I can tell you. And uh, good luck um, in your searches. I hope that you find that diamond in the rough that you're looking for, and I'm hoping that you can make a quick sale. So, uh, anyways, subscribe, click the notification button, and I will see you next time here on the Shortlist Channel.